All right, folks, Turkey here. I'm Waters Hopner. Welcome back to Heroes of the Storm and welcome to a new series. So, I want to do a playthrough of all the heroes, like A to Z, but as I could see in YouTube, most of the YouTubers already done it, so I'm going to do ZDA. Why the fuck not? Do something a bit different. So, it looks like our first hero is going to be Zul Jin then, since he is the final letter in the alphabetical order. So let's take a quick look at the teams. In my team we have Valera, Kerrigan, Kael'thas, Murky, Zul'jin, and on the enemy team we have Sagara, the Butcher, Lee, Ming, Marthal, and Valera. So level 1 we'll pick up, do you want axe? You want axe? So uh, Zul'jin is not really my type of hero. I really don't like living life on the edge and this berserker, this trait berserker can really get your health really down low and you need it low to do high damage and high, or high attack speed and I just don't like living on the edge. but. Uh, I thought I'd give him a go, so today is my first time ever playing Zul Gem. This isn't my first game, obviously, but I had to practice him a bit to make a video on him, so that's the good thing about doing an A to Z playthrough. So we can get a kill on the Butcher. It means I get to learn the heroes, because I have never played Zul Gem, because I never really liked this style of play. Looks like Zagara and Mercury are trading down bottom. He has a dead man walking for that. Is she gonna die? Beautiful. Nice, lovely wee stun coming out there from Kerrigan. Let's make our way up top and help kill fast because he seems to be in a lot of trouble. Oh, we nearly got hit in the face by a fucking basketball. So I'm enjoying. I love auto attack. Auto. Auto. Why do I keep saying audio? Auto attack heroes and hot slight, but Zul'jin has to be my least favourite out of the lot because I just really do not like lowering my health on purpose. I don't like living on the edge. It's dodgy but he can really rip through enemy heroes really well. But there's not really much talent diversity. Not his talents aren't that great in my opinion. I just wanna go the same build that I'm always gonna go ever I'm gonna play him. Probably after this video I'll never play him again because he's definitely not my type of hero. This could be a gank potential here if anybody wants to help me. See Butcher's pushing in here. We're just gonna clear this way before we walk away. We're probably gonna lose Kalfas to Marthal there. Marthal can stick to you like glue. We're gonna butcher that. We're just gonna walk out of there. There is no point staying there. We're currently outnumbered. Sigar is here with us. I'm just gonna farm XP. Everybody seems to be going for a fight. Where are you going, Kerrigan? You are gonna be outnumbered up there. Are you mad? Have you lost your mind? Let's see if we can get a kill on him. Excellent. See if we can walk, take that. Trade into Li Ming here, right? Let's walk away because we're quite obviously this team hasn't got a baldy. Let's get the let the kill begin. So there's not really much talent diversity, like that's what I don't like about him either, but we might as well give him a go. It means I can learn how he works, because some people do like him and do pick him, especially in draft mode. He reminds me of a sort of hero that would do very, very well. And uh why should we take that comp? It reminds me here that we'll do very well in burning through objectives, you know, like the web weavers or the mortal shrine or the mortal map or the infernal shrines if the enemy are getting it, or the garden terror and the dragon eye, you could probably rip through them, let's get some health regen going here. Murky's just pushing bottom, that's obviously a fucking, the usual shite coming from a quick match hero. So we could really do with this. Or the enemy team will get a, a garden terror, the very first Turn and we do not want that because it could, could snowball on us, especially if I'm having a cigar with powerful pushing. Looks like we are going to pick up the Lee Ming here. Beautiful. We see Valera there. She is sneaking about. There we go. This should be ours then. Let's get this fucking burnt down. Let me see how quick we can burn this down. But we are kind of in a bad position to be using this. Walk a lot. Oh, we got rid of this. Turn this off now. We're low health. Look at the attack speed he can do, like, which is unreal in my opinion. Like, but look what much health you have to lose to use it, which is really not my style of play whatsoever. The dawn has come, Looks like we denied the enemy a terror, which is great. Mothal's in here way overextended. He's definitely dead. No point in even wasting an ability on him. Let's just go back in lane then, we'll make our way to the top lane, so at level 7 we will pick up Vicious Assault. Well, we will actually get Recklessness because there's no support and I'm guarantee we're going to be at low health quite a bit due to our Berserker talent, or our Berserker trait. So this, how many games have I played today, uh, Zul'jin? I would say about 5 and I kind of learnt them very quickly. Just sort of, you want to stutter step. 
an auto attack, that's all you really do. You want to get your uh, Grievous throw on them as well. So you're doing extra damage. You see Zagara here, he, that was sneaky there. We just seen the, the creep just appearing. So Zara is a very, very strong lame bully. Are we going to die? Look how low we got him. Look how low we went to get it. But the good thing is about Soul Gem, what I really love is his regeneration, which can make him quite an okay solo laner. So Gara better back off because she is low and we are nearly full again. We are not going to be bullied by Zagara, no way. We hate bullies. We're just going to clear this minion wave. Looks like... I didn't even check the map there. What is going on with me? I didn't even know she was coming. Well, not that it affected me, but I should have been looking in the map. Maybe I could have helped her. There's my girl texting me. Probably looking me to put the dishes away. I haven't put them away yet. So we can get a slow going on here. Martha. Ah, we just missed it. We just missed it. We just missed it. Murky seems to be in a bit of baller down bottom, but he seems to be holding himself pretty well. Murky is so annoying. He's like a turd that won't flush. So level 10 will pick up Taz Dingo. Now I love this ability. This is awesome. You get really, really low and you pop it and they can't kill you and they stand and trade in you and you just fucking do shit ton of damage. What the hell just happened there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck happened there, but it was scary. Better not be my gravity's car fucking messing up. Looks like Kelfast is gonna pick up a kill there, Martha with a beautiful pyroblast. Not my favourite ultimate again, because it can be easily countered, but not here today in quick match. Looks like this is gonna pick up Oh I said we can put loads of damage in there up this butcher player, slow him down a bit. Ah, come on, he just gets away. She should die for that. Beautiful, beautiful. So how do you stack up you one axe? You have to hit the hero five times and it gives you extra damage for every five times you attack a hero. Let's go down and see if we can kill Valera. Some comps would be good right now as well. Looks like Valera has fucked off, which is a pretty good idea. Check the bushes. Clear this minion wave, get it moving in our favour. Looks like the objective has spawned, the Shanders. We're just going to trade in that right now. No point popping our trade for this. Oh, it's already popped, didn't even know. See what I mean? He's quite a really hard hero to master. You really have to keep an eye on your health. Like, uh, Who's going to get the Garden Terror? Looks like Murky's going back. He probably is the best option to get it. If you had to just wait at me a couple of seconds, like... Let's get the fudge out of here. Murky didn't even pick it up, so we're going to go back and get it. Is Murky going to pick it up? What is going on here? Are we going to play the objective, or are we just going to run about trying to score kills? That's a typical fucking Valera player running about scoring kills. Are we going to take this or what, guys? Come on, let's play the objective. It's all about the objective. So at, oh, we've had a lot. So at level 13 we'll pick up Eye of Zul'jin, it'll give us movement speed. There is a Valera here, we're going to turn our tree off because she's probably going to open on me. Looks like our Valera does spot her, brings her out of her stealth. Kel'Thas went to use his power blaster but he didn't get it off, she walked out of her range. Looks like the enemy have got a garden turn, they're pushing in the bottom lane, we're, gonna, we're just going to rip through this. He's just going to run away. That does no damage, I don't know why he did that. Get out of that! Beautiful, we're just going to trade in this, do as much damage. Look how quick we can rip through this. <laughs> Poor Kel'Thas. Ah, come on, I didn't thought it was out of it, thought it was out of it, thought it was out of it. Looks like we get a Garden Terror and it's pushing in the middle lane and the enemy Garden Terror is going to help defend it. We are not outnumbered so we can push in here a bit, whereas Murky, Murky is in the Terror, that's right. Let's see if we can trade in that. We're gonna put some auto attacks into Mothal. Looks like Murky's pretty deep there, but it's only a Murky. Let's use our regenerative or regeneration. Why not? Get healed up a wee bit. 
Is it still safe to push in here? Looks like the enemy are pushing top. Let's go and see if we can defend our top fort. It's only got six seconds left, but we could possibly pick up a kill on Crazy Mage, who is Zagara. She will probably get away unless Kalthas gets her with a stun. Oh, we just missed that. Let's just put all our damage into her. Just wastes an ultimate. What a wasted ultimate. Looks like the LA team is doing perfectly down in the middle lane. I don't know why they sh you should just take that keep. Could have secured a keep there with 20 seconds or at least get a bit of damage done. But let's get this tower down here. Pop our berserker trait. Just trade into this tower and turn it off. This is going exceedingly well. We do have a, th a four level lead on the enemy at the minute. So at level 16 we'll pick up Ferocity. Increases the attack speed bonus. Like I said before, there isn't really... There isn't really much diversity in his talents. All our ones seem very lackluster. Let's get the fudge out of here. There's nothing to gain from this because we're completely outnumbered. Please get the fuck out of there. Come on, just take a wee look at the map, guys. Just take a wee look at the map. We were completely outnumbered there. Looks like Murky's Egg does get destroyed. Where is that at? Let's see if we can... There we go. If we go for this here, the enemy will know we're going for it. Let's pop our trade here and see if we can burn down as quickly as possible because the enemy are going to know we're there. Looks like we're going to lose. Where is Kerrigan? I thought we were going to lose Kerrigan there. You will. She'll, they'll be coming for you next. Love, they'll be coming for you next. Let's turn our trait off. Oh, it's warm. My back is sweating here. I have to record my videos. I have to. Build, I built a wee tent around my PC to stop Echo. I know it's not really a big problem, Echo, but I'm. I just like perfection. Like I do love good uh, good audio. Like I, I don't like Echo. Whenever I watch my videos back again, I hate the Echo. So I had to build a tent around my computer, but because. I run an ultra graphics and have a really warm PC and a high graf high generation graphics card or some heat comes out of my PC and I'm sitting here and my hands are sweating and my back's soaking. <laughs> We're fucking shitting. We're shitting our, uh, what do you call that, grievous throw with the wrong direction. As you see, I don't know much about Zul'jin. I don't even know the names of his abilities. But we're going to pop our trait here and pump a lot of damage into this here. We haven't even got the chance to use Kaz Dingo yet. Look at us tear through that, that is unbelievable how strong he is, written through map objectives. Let's get our regen rolling off. Looks like we do pick up a tear, beautiful. Are we going to lose Valir down bottom? Of course we are, because she opened up in the middle of a fucking four man team, which is just complete and utterly gobbledygook to me. You might as well be out chewing grass, you go. Bah! So now we're currently outnumbered in the map with a garden tower pushing in the middle lane, so we can't really push too far with it. We have no idea where the enemy are at the minute. They are completely not showing on the map at all. They could be coming behind us, and they are. We need to be extra careful here. Right, we are completely outnumbered here, and they're coming in from behind us. Looks like we're going to pick up a keep. I'm just going to trade in this keep. Why the fudge not? Oh! So we can just rip through these guys here. We are probably dead for that, but who the fuck cares? We picked up a kill anyway in Zagara. See what I mean by always low health? See how fast I was attacking there, but how low my health was to get it. So the Butcher was able to capitalize on that there, and that's why I don't really like playing Zul'jin. This will probably definitely will be the last game I play. I might play him, say, if I'm going to be playing the. The. What do you call that map? With the. Not the Infernal Shrines, the other one looks like we do lose our Kel'Thas player. Your terror has been the immortal, down. the immortal map, what do you call that there? Battlefield of Eternity, there we go, it was in there somewhere. If you don't end up, can't get Vala, Zul'jin would be a very, very strong pick there to rip through the objective light. I would probably pick them now that I've learned them a wee bit. But apart from that there, I don't think I'd really play him. His lack of movement speed, I think, and the lack of escape that makes him hard and it's definitely not my type of hero. But I have had fun playing him as definitely for sure. So just gonna walk away from that. We're gonna go and destroy this flower because that's what you wanna do. Because that'll make him run away rather than take the keep. Look at how slow we attack. 
Oh, he is way too deep and he should die for that. Oh my god, Murky, stop trading in them, please! We are definitely dead for that. Cause Dingo off too in fucking two seconds. I don't understand these players that trade into the Butcher. Like, I played a game there last. Butcher's been in the last few games I played as Zul'jin, and every single fucking player just stands still and shoots him while he heals up, but it's unbelievable. Like, the amateurism is unreal in quick match, like. So at level 20, we'll pick up a Manny Resilience, as will just give us health back for the same amount, equal to the amount of damage that we did. 50% of the damage that we did. Still pretty good, it means we can get really low, do a shit ton of damage, and get healed up. This is where Zul'jin gets really, really strong, because Dingo is really, really valuable. Is he gonna die? He's oh my god! You're so greedy for that kill, you're gonna die for it? Look at this, this is unbelievable, like... See that, like... See, look how much damage a minion wave can do to a hero, and he just was so t focused on getting that kill there that he lost most of his health to a minion wave. Looks like the enemy are pushed way back into their core, they really need to push the lanes back, we have catapults pushing in in both lanes. Which is really, really good for us, Keep let's, keeps us having map control, gives us the chance to take all the camp. Although I don't like taking a camp and just the leaving it. Looks like the objective is to spawn and we're pretty close to it. Pretty close to objective 2, farm it, Kel'Thas is really low, he's going to have to go back so we're going to be 4 in the map. Let's just trade in this here and get these. Always want to get the side ones first because they're so easy to take. Who's that in there with a the butcher? It is just Murky. You see an ultimate coming out from Lee Ming on a Murky as middle. Let's just trade in here as much as we can before we're going to die for that there. Whoa, we're going to get healed, but oh, and a lovely maw helps me stay alive. Oh, we're dead. But we do get the kill on the butcher. <laughs> just before we died. You see, out on your hill is from zero to full. I think it healed us about 75% of our health there. As you can see, it was quite strong there, but we were caught out of a session, unfortunately. But it looks like this could possibly be GG here. There are four siege camps on the core. This is definitely GG if the enemy don't go back and deal with it. it looks like the siege camps have switched back to the minions, so Zara's gonna have it sorted. Are we gonna lose the lair? We aren't. That was lucky of you, love. That was lucky. You're lucky you got away from that. This is possibly GG here. He needs to go straight on the core. I don't see why he should fuck about. Why is he attacking that? Go core, please. What are you doing? Go on the core! Oh, Jesus Christ, come on the fuck, use your head, like, look the damage you're doing to it. Just keep trading in that. What the fuck are you doing? See the lag of this guy, stutter step, walk around it and attack it. He charges murky, what a waste of a charge in my opinion. Looks like the butcher's going to die. And he does die, this is GG here. Finish the game please, attack the core, fuck the kills. Are we gonna get there in time? Let's get a bit of damage done. And there's the GG guys! So there you have it there, Zul'jin. As you can see, he's quite a powerful auto attack hero. But to play him, you need to be living on the edge. You need to be at low health to get the best out of him, which is scary, and and then the support's going to be hitting you up anyway if you're playing him in a draft mode. But uh, it's definitely, definitely a really, really hard here with the master. I played about five or six games today with him, and as you can see, I'm not that great as him myself. But there we go, level four. As you can see, that's all we have him at. So let's go over the talents very, very quickly. So level 1 we picked up, do you want axe? And then at level 4 we picked up, let the killing begin, and then level 7 we got recklessness, because we were going to be at low health quite a bit. Taz Dingo, Eye of Soul Jin, Ferocity, and then Amani Resilience. So hope you all enjoyed this video today, this is the first in the series of the ZTA. <laughs> the ZTA. I don't think anybody owns A to Z, but I thought I would do something a bit different, why not? 
So I don't know who the next hero going to be. I think it could either be Zeratul or uh, it's definitely going to be Zeratul next. So if you all, if you enjoyed the video, guys, give it a wee thumbs up. And if you want to see some more, subscribe. All right, guys, take care.